there is such thing as a little white lie. And I think that some women get it confused and they think that any and all lies they tell are just little. I don't think they understand the impact and the ramifications that come with some of the lies that they do tell. And that's what we want to get into today. So as stated, uh, women tell some of the most lasting lies ever. And it's not like little white lies, right? It's not something that all oh, like, oh yeah, that does this make me look fat? No, it doesn't. Right. Yeah, yeah. We all lie. Everybody tells a lie about something here and there. And the, sometimes they're little white lies, but women they'll lie about things that have such an impact that it'll ruin lives. It can ruin it. Not, it not just their it. lives. Other children's everybody every person that's involved. All right. So some of the biggest lies that women tell. Uh they lie about men being the father yes. of their kids. That's one right? of the big ones. Yeah. That's one of the big ones. Yeah. The one that's even bigger than that is they'll lie about being raped. Oh, great, huh? And that is fucking huge. Yeah. Because that's... you're you're trying to send somebody to prison at that point. And, right. And for what? Like most of the time it'd be like a stupid disagreement or just something so small and minute that raped or even uh, or even uh molested at some point, yeah. right? Like the, like like prime example, one of the older cases that everybody's probably heard about at some point in their history classes, Emmett Till. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That motherfucking Carol Carolyn Bryant Dunham. Yeah. Held this lie to for the guillotine. To the guillotine. Take her ass to the guillotine. Lied for damn near six decades. About what the fuck happened. And it wasn't even something drastic. It wasn't even something. It's not like he, like Emmett Till was accused of even raping her. It was grabbing her hand, placing her hand on, on her waist or ass, and saying, I've been with a white woman. You know, and like, I are find you, that. <laughs> how old was he again? 13? 14 four, years old. He was 14 years old. He, he grabbed some grown ass white woman. <laughs> like, that story in itself just sound kind of. And iffy. she took that much offense to it. And these grown ass men came and was just like, yeah, fuck it. She's right. Yeah. No, no they, it was her, they, her husband and he, well, either a, a brother, relative or, yeah. or a friend. They just wanted to lynch somebody, man. Well, they didn't lynch That's him. It. They beat his ass and then they, what, shot him in the, uh, and dumped his body by a fucking uh, lake or yeah. river. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. And that is, a, and she finally admits this. What on her deathbed? Like yeah. it's gonna make a fucking dick yeah, a difference to anybody? Yeah, now. to the guillotine. Straight. In fact, pull her corpse out of the bottle, out, out of the grave, and then send it to the <laughs> guillotine. Fuck it. <laughs> it's stupid, dude. Or how about um, Nikki Yovino? Who's that? I don't know if you heard about this one. So this happened back in 2016. I believe okay. it was 2016. She lied saying that there were two college athletes at a off-campus party that raped her in a bathroom. And then two years later, after it's been discovered that she was lying the entire time, the judge sentenced her, which is actually a little bit of justice, right? Because she got her, 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 what she had coming to her, the guillotine, um, she lied, said, yeah, they, she got raped. And then when she got sentenced in jail to jail for one year, she was actually seen rolling her eyes at the judge like it wasn't that big a fucking deal that she lied about this so shit. So she got she sentenced almost, to one year? One year in, in jail. jail. Now, she, do you think that she should have been forced to also register as an offender? Because that person would have had to register for the rest of their lives if that information wouldn't have came out and they were convicted of this bitch is that lie. would be an actual interesting uh topic to have if if women that make false accusations on men or even vice versa anyone that makes false accusations and, that are of a felony standpoint and they this should is why, have to register on this, some sort of list and this is why i say it is because on the flip side right if her accusations would have been warranted right and he would have been convicted of this lie 
he would have a lifelong effect where he has to register every month or year, whatever it is. He can't work certain jobs. He can't be around certain places. Yeah. So I feel like on the flip side, if you're found out to be lying about this, you should have a lifelong everlasting commitment to doing something of that sort too. Yeah. Where maybe to deter it might them not, from lying. Like, where, where maybe it might not cost you from being able to get employment somewhere. No, no, but not, it's going to make that, that steep, employer but, be like, I don't want this bitch. But I feel like if they put harsher uh, uh, repercussions on it, that it would deter these lies. You know, they, they get a slap on the wrist most of the time. Yeah. Most of the time, they don't even go to jail. Like, that case is rare. She went to jail for a year. Most of the time, they get nothing. And And look, I understand. I get it. Right. Like. It's very small amount of men that get accused for something as severe as rape or, or, or some sort of sexual assault. Yeah. That are innocent. But like, for example, on the higher end of some of the uh, uh, reports and stuff that I was reading, it could be as high as 10 percent. It's number. anywhere from two to 10 percent. Average is eight. But even if you get the higher end of it, let's just say it was 10 percent. That means one out of every 10 men Mm. that are accused of of rape or sexual assault are innocent. I mean, we wouldn't tolerate it. It would be a different stand, a different story. And we wouldn't tolerate it if it was one of 10 men that were innocent being accused of murder. right? Right, Right. It would people would be in a much more uproar about it. So why is it that men being accused of rape, one out of 10 of them being innocent? Yeah. Isn't getting as much uh, attention. Yeah. That means like, one out of 10 men right now in jail or prison for rape didn't do it probably. Yeah. And then, like, and then how about the double standard that comes with certain things too? Like if a man goes to a massage parlor and he gets a massage and then he tries to say, oh, she inappropriately groped me and grabbed some shit she wasn't supposed to. That's going to get brushed off and swept under the rug like it's fucking nothing. But if it's a female, let it be a female. You know why? Because the dude's fucked. They look at us like we're just fucking animals. They look at us men like we're just animals. And because of our strength. We are animals. And to an extent. I mean, most of us don't have to be animals, bro. Like, we just. Just lucky and fortunate. (laughs) I just. I'll leave it at that. (laughs) Uh, or okay, so how about uh, women also telling other lies that have lasting effect on uh, on men as well, such as lying about taking birth control, yeah. lying about uh, taking like a morning after pill, yeah, or or doing something as shady as poking holes in condoms to try and trap men. Men, like, don't let don't on. let the chicks put the condoms on you. Fuck that. Don't even let them use their own. You better have your own. Yeah. Carry your shit. If you ain't got that magnum, then you just you shit know, out of luck. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man, but it's fucking crazy because just look at, like, the Trevor Bauer case. Trevor Bauer's, um, I don't even know if he's still in the MLB, but he was a baseball player, and this chick, she set him up. She knew. she. she there was text messages that came out between her and her friend where she was like, yeah, I'm doing this. And she set him up over some shit because she wanted money. Another bitch to the guillotine. To the guillotine. <laughs> it's like, that's cr- I'm not even going to say her name because fuck her. That's that's fucked up. You ru- <gasps> you're trying to ruin people's lives, man, you know? Can't get with that. Uh, The Jonathan Majors incident? Yeah. I mean, everybody's also, like, uh, very well documented. The, uh, the I think this is when people started opening their eyes more to the fact that <laughs> the- men being accused of shit you shouldn't just jump on one side right away and that was with the yeah. johnny depp and shout, out, shout out to johnny depp man we needed that i appreciate you uh for some reason recording everything you must have had a, a light bulb go off in your head like i can't trust this shit. you you had to have like, had some he knew, sort of he feeling knew. he was documenting everything he knew on a fucking rainy day this chick is gonna flip like a light switch and turn on me and he had everything in place luckily for him but think about it if he had not done that, he would have been fucked. Well, it wasn't also just him. Some of the stuff that she did came back to bite her in the ass, too, because she was also doing a lot of, like, side recordings and stuff. Yeah. And then having them edited to only show portions of what happened. And when they, like, you know, got the full-on videos and saw everything, they were like, oh, bitch, you lying. Right. Amber Heard is crazy. That's a prime example of why 
You fuck crazy, but you don't put a ring on it. God damn. You stick your dick in it. That's about it. Again, you fuck crazy. You don't put a ring on it. Yeah. So Amber Heard. Fuck her. Fuck her. Fuck her. It's fucked up, though, man. It's fucked up. So, um, and then you were going to brush on Jonathan uh, Majors real quick. Before yeah, I Jonathan, this, the Jonathan story, Majors case. It sucks because, you know, he was such a uh, uh, he's such a great actor and he was just getting traction, you know, with roles in um, the the um, Marvel verse and in Creed. Creed three. He did the uh, he, devotion, yeah. the movie devotion. Yeah, devotion. That was a great one. I love devotion, man. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But, you know, it's fucked up for somebody whose career is just taking off and. In my opinion, I, I followed the case and I seen everything that ha- had happened. Most of you have seen the footage. He got in trouble because this chick seen text messages from another woman while they were in, in the car on the way back to the hotel or their apartment or whatnot. Yeah. And so she flips out. And as any man, we don't want to hear that shit. So he stopped the car. You know, I'm going to get out. I'm going to walk. She's trying to keep him from leaving or she's saying she's going to go with him or whatever the case may be. As a man, you don't want your chick walking. Not in, you know, in New York at night. You don't want that. Right, right. So right. he's telling her to get in the car. He decides, you know what, I'm going to put you in the car. So he picks her up and puts her in the car, which was his mistake. She bumps her head. And it's like, that's what they got him on? She bumped her head and fucking cut a little thing behind her ear. It was the physical force portion yeah. of it that got him. I get that. Stu- it's petty because you could clearly see on camera that that wasn't his intention to yeah. hurt her. It's dumb. It's bullshit. You know? And then the other thing they got him on was when he snatched away from her and when she grabbed him after he had put her, attempted to put her in the truck, she hurt her finger. And the funniest part of this case is <laughs> I'm most most of you can attest to this is them running through the fucking New York streets <laughs> on <laughs> being seen on different camera footage is like this motherfucker was a track star he was gone well, he just got done doing Creed three when that happened so. <laughs> right he's in the best shape of his like, life shit I could do this all night <laughs> right. come on but her ass chasing him like come on and then at the end of it she's when he gets to his room she's there and he calls the cops to come and get her out. And that's when everything went down and he was arrested. But it just it's it it's sad to see how when allegations like this come out, you're guilty until proven innocent. You lose all your deals and everything you got going for you. Soon as the, the allegation is, it's crazy to me. We used to be proven in, in innocent. I mean, you used to be innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Right. And that, that, that's gone. No, no. We don't, now, we don't now the second you get an allegation put against you, you're guilty in the eyes of the public. Like, oh, that's yeah. Easily. And the eyes of the public is what run everything now, unfortunately. Dumbasses. Um, I think yeah. another th- another I think another thing that kind of helped Jonathan Majors out in his situation was the fact that, like, she tried to say that the reason she hurt her hand was because he grabbed her hand. And then they showed the video where he just pulls away. Yeah. And it yep. and then she's like, you know, hurting. So yeah, because that might have helped him a little after bit. After he put her in a truck, he, he turns away, away and starts walking away, and he took maybe a step or two, and then she grabs him, and he turns, and then he just snatches. You know where he runs off? You know where he started running? You know he was running. Where? He was running to lead her ass to the guillotine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to the guillotine. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck that. All right. So, All right, so I so I came across this story of a man named Richard Mason. Okay, he was okay. a millionaire that lived over the pond, as some would call it. Yes, yes. So, so this, this guy, guy raised three kids. At this point, they're all over 20 years old. When he finally discovers, and this is back in 2016 when he discovered this, so it's been a couple years. Some of you might have heard it or not. Discovers that he had no possible way of being the father of all three of his kids when he finally you know, discovered he got diagnosed with a cystic, cystic fibrosis. Damn. So... His kids are, he has twins that are like 20 at this point, one that's like 23. And then he, and he's already been divorced from this woman. This is the kicker. He's al- already been divorced now, from her. Hold on real quick. I want you guys to, to, to set the scene. You got three kids that you've been taking care of. They whole and, lives. And you're sick. And on top of you being sick, you find out 
They're not yours. Oh, you're going to get sicker with the rest of this story. It's like, man. You're going to get sicker with the rest of this story, okay? So he basically, he finds out once he gets diagnosed with this cystic fibrosis that he has been infertile since birth. Okay? Ten years after they've already been divorced, this woman finally admits, this bitch named Kate finally admits that, yes, they're not his kids, that she cheated, she had an affair. And this is after they've, again, been divorced ten years. Ten years, divorced, where in the settlement for the divorce, she was granted $4 million, knowing the entire fucking time... Scandalous. That these weren't his kids. Try so to. not only do we send her ass to the guillotine, <laughs> yeah. but we should just chop her up into a million motherfucking pieces and feed her to goddamn pigeons. I don't know, because that is just some foul ass shit. That yeah, so, that's that's diabolical. That's evil right there. And and during the and during this suit, because he did end up suing her to try and recoup some of that four million dollars. I don't understand the, and this is, I don't understand some of the judges out here. She was allowed to keep the actual father's identity a secret. So he pled with her. He said, listen, please come clean about this because if not for me knowing, our sons deserve to know. Yeah. I mean, that is That's just, not a mother, man. No, that is a That's neglect, neglect that to is your a, children. That is a bitch. That's Jesus. some bullshit. Kate, like you're a bitch. You're selfish. You selfish as fuck. You only worried about your own interests. You wanted money, and you fucking neglected your kids of knowing who their real father is in their family history. So now their actual relatives. You don't give a fuck if your son ends up meeting a chick and fucking her and getting her pregnant. And that turns out to be his sister. Like you just don't care about nothing. You just yeah. you're evil. You're it's evil, Kate, man. You're a bitch. Get a good team. Rest in. Re- I hope. That when you die, you rest in piss. All right. So, yeah. So, imagine that. Because now, everything that he thought... And and he, I read this... When I was reading this article, they had a lot of quotes from him. And he made such statements uh, saying, Imagine everything you've known in your life to be solid and true to be a lie. Yeah. To not exist. It's like living in the matrix. Yep. He said that... Because at this point, they're already divorced. So their youngest kids, the twins, I believe, they graduate high school. He wasn't even invited. He had to watch it on Facebook. He watches other people, friends and family, post things on like social medias about how proud they are of their kids and this, that, and the other. He walks by toy stores where he used to buy presents for his kids for Christmas or birthdays and other events all their fucking lives. And now all of it was for nothing. It has all been snatched away. It has vanished in dust. Thanos snapped a fucking finger. None of it exists. And I hope that those, uh, you said it was three kids, right? Three kids, yes. I hope that out of the kindness of their heart that those three kids still kind of keep some type of relationship with him because at the end of the day, he deserves that. And that's that is hard like respect, yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, you know, so it's fucked up. up. And listen, I don't, I don't want to come off as, as sounding like men don't tell lies. Right. But there's no way that like a man lying about being raped by a female is not going to get laughed out of a courtroom. Yeah. There's no way that a man can say, oh, this is, she's not the mother. Because they obviously came out of her vagina. Like, so there's there's just, there's certain lies, there's certain things that that women need to be held to a a higher standard for. Definitely. And and be punished accordingly for. To the guillotine. To the guillotine. (laughs) Fuck them. Because, um... Us as men, we're we're at a high disadvantage. That's why you just got to take care of yourself. Be careful with who you're sleeping with and all that, you know? So, so if you have sons that are young, man, talk to them because it's important. A chick can fuck your life up. Have you paying child support for some shit that ain't yours for 18, 20 years? Right. So, yeah. uh, so men, strap up. Protection first. Yeah. And uh, and uh, as always, subscribe, share, show you care. And if she's there and she knows she's lying, send her ass to the guillotine. <laughs>